as human beings, we are more than human doings. When people use goals to guide their lives, I find that they come in a lot more frequently with burnout and overwhelm. It's really, for me, what, what helps with motivation and, and leaning into discomfort and doing what matters is being really clear about your values. Because values, you can derive goals from values, but also values are what give you the secret sauce. Values give you the willingness to do hard things. There is no way I would do my physical therapy three times a week were it not for being willing to do these boring <laughs> exercises that only serve to remind me where I'm not, where I, that I'm not where I want to be physically yet. If I weren't connected to my value around strength and health and all the things that will come from that for me. Again, for our clients to discover those values is incredibly important. And that's part of that program. I know how much that idea changed my life completely and just how I attacked the day. I went from dreading going to sleep because I knew I'd have to wake up and do a bunch of things that I didn't want to have to do and bitching and moan about it to I couldn't wait to go to sleep because now everything I'm doing is tied to the values that enhance life for me. Even if you don't like some of the activities around them, right? It's connected to what matters for you. Exactly. For a lot of our clients, the other challenge with goals and what I call box checking is the influence that others have on those goals. Marriage, kids, buying a home, safe career choice. I mean, a lot of these things are passed down through our families and culturally as the safe, comfortable route to success. And then many of our clients find us having reached those goals, check those boxes and still feeling an emptiness, feeling a lack of connection with others and a, a wondering and a, a regret around, did I make the right decision living my life based on these goals? Yeah, exactly. And so you're, you're referencing the third skill of emotion efficacy training, which is values-based action. And in that part of the training, we're looking at what part of what you organize your life around are shoulds, you know, things that you've learned or internalized you should do. What part of this are just values that your family or your culture has? What part of this could be old values, things you don't care about anymore? And then what's left that you really do care about? What are your innermost interests, desires, and yearnings at this point in your life? And that right there is, for a lot of people, a huge inquiry that doesn't happen in one session. You know, it's a constant inquiry because our values change over our lives and it also they change from context to context. So it really is this active inquiry that if you're going to practice high emotional efficacy, you can always be asking yourself, even right now, right here in this moment with you on this podcast, what matters most? Is it me continuing to talk? Is it me making space for you guys to bring me as your guest into the context of, you know, your show and your programs and your audience? So it allows for so much more flexibility, intentionality, and creativity in life. Mm -hmm.